recently, this, this was uh, back in the fall, I was interviewing um, Senator Ted Cruz and then Congressman Beto O'Rourke for the hotly contested Senate seat. I, look at how intentional I was trying to be. I was trying to be so neutral. I wore red to the Democrat interview and I wore blue to the Republican interview, right? So anyway, there was this one particular publication that had previously written about me. It was a conservative publication and they had previously called me a token conservative. And then when I launched my faith podcast, which by the way, I'd love if you all subscribed, that would be amazing, Journeys of Faith. Um, but when I launched my faith podcast, they, they said that they, they praised me for launching this faith podcast. But after these interviews ran, okay, they called me a libtard. Now I cannot be, which by the way, is one of my favorite terms, a libtard. Um, how can I be both a token conservative and a libtard? And this is all coming from the same publication, right? Did anything change? No. My ideology didn't change. The way that I approach my stories didn't change. The way that I engage with my interviewees didn't change. Nothing changed. The only thing that changed was that I didn't feed their narrative. I didn't feed their narrative. And my point is that we can't fall for it. We can't fall for it. We have to do better, especially as believers. We have to do better. The truth matters more now than it ever has. And believers are being scrutinized more now than we ever have been. The truth matters.